Hey again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing a what sold video for you guys. It will be for last weekend which was March 25th through the 27th. Um, that was kind of a kind of a slow weekend for me but I did have an amazing sale that I'm going to share with you. Um, just I've had like this lull in all the other platforms. eBay is eBay. Yes, it's slow, but I'm still making decent sales. So again, I'm not complaining. Um, but the other ones, I only had Mercari, but Poshmark. And I talked about this already. Poshmark, I sent out like 183 offers. I just, had just figured it, it all, figured it all out. And I sold, I think, uh, yeah, seven items that weekend. And I'm having sporadic sales right now, but again, I've not got a whole lot listed there. Well, I've got about 700 on there now, um, but I'm just, I'm still trying to figure that out. That's a new platform for me, but I have high hopes, you know, I have high hopes, but I still, I had high hopes for Facebook. Facebook, I don't know what's going on with them. I don't have any sales for last weekend. I finally made a sale this weekend from there and that's I had like another sale earlier last week but I had been in communication with this person on and off about the price and it finally sold so it was almost like I don't know but my strategy this weekend starting today for this next week is I put a 10% prom off promotion on Facebook um, so I'm hoping that's going to kind of maybe get stuff moving. Um, I just learned watching somebody, I don't know who it was on YouTube, but I figured out how to put Etsy on sale. So I think I'm going to do that later on today. Um, I might try to contact somebody who's been doing Posh for a while and see if there's a way to do a store-wide sale on there. But their fees are so high, I just kind of don't want to put you know, a 10% sell, and then they're still going to take 20%. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do to get these sales going. And, you know, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. But, yeah, I, on um, Poshmark, I sold five clothing items and then two non-clothing items. Well, a pair of shoes. And this weekend, I've sold two more items, and one is a clothing item and one is a hard good. So, I really think I need to get more hard goods on there. Almost, well, a lot of my clothes are on there now. Not all of them, but I think I'm getting close. I only think I have like 900 clothing items anyway on eBay. And I'm up to 700 and something on Poshmark. So, I, I've, I've got high hopes. Let's just see. Famous last words, right? Um, we did the premiere last night. I don't think I liked that too much. It was, I'm not a fast typist. So, trying to say hi to everybody was tough. Robert ended up having to step in and at least do the highs for me so I could answer some of the questions. I think from this point moving on, you know, it was fun chatting with people, but I think it was, um, just made it difficult to focus on the video. I even had one viewer, and sorry I have forgotten your name already, um, say that she was going to have to go back now and watch the video and not focus on the chat part of it. So I think I'm going to do the lives with chats and then my videos are just going to be my videos. I think that's just going to be my strategy for this anyway. But it was a fun experience. But it was at 6 o'clock at night, y'all. And you know, I start working between 5 and 6 or so in the morning. So 6 o'clock at night, I am already bushed, tired. Um... And right after that, I went in and, you know, got my laptop and did a little bit of stuff on it. And then I just, I read. I read. I'm an avid reader in the evenings till about 1030. And then I'm, gotta go to sleep. All right, let's get through some of the stuff. I think it ended up only being like 22 or 23 things I'm going to share. There are other sales, but a lot of them are like things I'm just trying to get moved you know, so there were $5 sales and $7 sales and stuff like that, which they all add up and I'm good with that. Um, but I just don't choose to show them in these videos. 
I also, I think I mentioned this in my last what sold. Um, I've changed my strategy as far as dealing with eBay listings. I'm no longer going to be ending my listings. I'm going to be doing um, a promoted listing at trending rates. And I've seen a remarkable change. You know, all kinds of things could be playing into that. But my sales have bumped up a lot. I think I've got, so far this weekend, like 30, no, over 40 things to pull between all the platforms. And I do have sales on Mercari, Posh, Facebook, and Etsy all this weekend also. So it's it's like all of a sudden things are starting to click. People are starting to shop. So I'm going to just really focus this week on getting a lot of stuff processed. A lot. I saw a post today. I'm talking. But I saw a post this today. And it was in one of these groups where you um, ask for things that you're missing, you know, a piece to something. And somebody had said they were needing the number nine block that goes to the Tupperware shape ball. I have a whole bag of them somewhere. I don't know if I have the number nine, but when I use, when I go to the bins, if I see them, I just throw them in there. So it's things like that I want to focus on. A lot of smalls this weekend, I mean this week, and try to get... Just, you know, I'm going to list them each, each of the shapes. Um, you know, even if it's three bucks plus shipping, you know, it's, I've got pennies in them. So that's, that's the plan. I might um, recruit my, my son who usually takes pictures of clothing for me. I might recruit him to help me plow through a whole bunch of smalls because you know, I've got a shelf back here that's just all smalls that I've just kind of been accumulating, thinking, oh, I'll make small lots. But at this point, they're just becoming profit piles, and I haven't touched them in a while, and I need to. I need to start focusing on either getting it listed or taking it to my booth. And I'm, I think I might get some gallon baggies and start putting some of the smalls in there that I just don't want to deal with and put like five bucks on them and send them to the booth. That's my strategies right now. It's ever-changing, but, you know, so is eBay. So we just got to do what we got to do. All right, let's get started. This first item, I talked about this way back when I think we first started doing haul videos. This is a Little Tykes Kitchen Center coffee pot. It's a replacement. It's one of those large kitchen centers. It had like a, a kitchen sink and... I think a stove and stuff like that. There's a yellow phone that goes with this. But, you know, it took me a while to sell this. I finally did get a best offer of $40.71 for it. And I've talked about these pots and pans before. Um, and just the table settings. Definitely keep your eyes out for them. Go do a, a, a search on eBay for, you know, vintage little tykes, pots, dishes, placemats vase and flowers, all of them. If I remember, which I usually do when I'm watching these, I will try to um, get Robert to go find. There's a flower. A lot of the plates and stuff say little tykes on the bottom, but not everything does. There is a little flower print, like on the handles of the pots and pans or on the silverware that tells you that it's little tykes. Um, but it's very similar to a Fisher Price little flower that was also on a lot of the vintage Fisher Price stuff. But I'll try to get a, a picture of it put right here just so you can keep an eye out for it. But they're usually yellows and blues and pinks, um, just those type of colors. But definitely a good sell. Just had to hold out for the right buyer. All right, next item is this Kelly Toy Multicolor Bear. Um, it was the pastel colors, you guys know. I love the multicolored animals in general. This one was from 2001. There, usually you can get the dates off of Kelly Toy Plush if it still has its little tush tags. Um, I did take a best offer of it of $15. I think Robert grabbed this at the bins the last trip we just went on. Um, it was just a little five and a half inch mini pillow from Boyd's Bears. I almost put it over in my booth because I think I have another one over there. I might have to go get it because this thing sold relatively quickly 
for $8.14. One of my smaller cells, this is from Ron Bonifato. Usually it has like RBI on the tag. It's just, I find them, they're not high dollar. I did sell this one for $7.23. This is Eden Plush. This is from the Frederick Warren Beatrix Potter series. These come in different sizes. This is the seven inch plush and it sold for best offer of $8. Picked these up recently at our local Goodwill. We got the whole series of the Popeyes except Popeye. Um, I think I paid like $2.99 each. But then again, I bought a whole cart full of plush and she was only charging me like 99 cents to a dollar. So I'm not sure if I paid the $2.99 for these and then the rest of it, or if I just paid a dollar for everything. He did have a few spots on him um, so that I just went ahead and, you know, just stated that in my listing. And he was the best one out of the group. I think I put the other four together. I had the baby and um, Brutus, Wimpy, and olive oil um, but they had condition more condition issues than even this one and the jeep here sold for twenty two dollars and seventy cents i think he's like eugene jeep or something like that but these were from 1999. this is fisher price eeyore i pick up all things poo i just have i just love them um, this one was from 2005. He's holding a little security blanket in his arms. I think he had a, like a jingle in him also. And he sold for $9.05. Again, most of these items are picked up at yard sales or at the bins, and I hardly pay anything for them. That's the wonderful thing about selling plush. You don't pay a lot for them. Most plush that I sell are bread and butter you know, eight to $12, but then I do find quite a few that are more than that. And, and once in a while, I find one that's like amazing, you know, over a hundred dollars. These came from the recent trip to the Goodwill bins in St. Louis. These are from Fiesta and they go, they, they're, there's a whole bunch of them. They are associated with the Great Wolf Lodge. This was the boy and the girl, Wiley and Violet. They're 16 inch plush. I decided to go ahead and put them together. I'm not quite sure. Let me show you this picture. In their hands is this little clear bulb. And I'm just wondering if it, it's for some kind of activity that you can do there at the Great Wolf Lodge. Not sure, so I didn't know if they were working. I didn't even know what it was really for. I just mentioned it in my listings. Um, and they sold for best offer of $22.70. These are Avon Full of Beans plush. They have a whole series of them. Once in a while I pick them up at the bins and they're still in their bags. These two were loose. Um, I just decided I'm trying to list it or set it aside for the booth. List it or set it aside. So I decided to put these two together. They had been kind of sitting in a bag waiting for me to do something. Um, and they sold very quickly for $8.25. Russ, love Russ, love Gund, love Dakin, love Eden, all of the vintage stuff. Just love them. So I picked them up. Some of them are bread and butter. Some of them are better. Um, this is Sugar Plum was the name of the beer. Beer. Bear. He has a number two at the end of his, um, title because I had two of them in different conditions. So I usually will put a different number on them and then try to remember to separate them so I don't put both of them in the same basket and get discombobulated. And I try to remember, I don't always figure out that I have two of them until I'm doing my comps and it's already put away. Um, so I don't always mark the bags that this is number two, but if I figure it out, I do. Um, this Russ sold for best offer of $10. Robert picked these up at a recent estate sale. He paid a dollar for them. Um, it was these, they're called Quick Cut Quickle Steak Knives. They had these brown plastic handles. They were in the original box that the person um, 
the estate sale that we were at um, had ordered them from, it didn't look like they had been used. They still had their original um, covers on them. So I just kind of, there was a few listed, but none with the box. So I just kind of put my price up a little bit and they sold a, again, very quickly, $22.70. This is Aurora. This was a cute little poodle plush purse. I try to, I, I do pick up these plush that have like the little cloth handles. They're very cute. You know, I can see a little girl with, you know, on Easter carrying something like this. Um, and of course, dogs plush always sell for me, especially things that are, aren't brown, you know, the different colors. But this poodle sold for a best offer of $9.50. Again, if you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. I do charge um, a flat rate for anything that's um, under a pound. And then I do calculated shipping for everything over a pound. This is Walmart, um, Santa Claus, probably relatively um, current thing that was probably out maybe even just this past Christmas had the cute little glitter eyes just I don't know if there were any comps for it so a lot of times I'll do either $9.99 $9.95 $14.95 or $19.95 if it's just kind of a you know just a, a regular brand um picked $14.95 and I ended up taking a best offer of $13 no it sold on sale for $13.60 Again, quick sell. This is Mary Meyer. Love that brand. Um, this was just an Easter egg plush. When you opened it up, it was from 1998. And when you opened it up, it was like a reversible. It had this little duck inside of it. Um, it sold for, let's see, best offer of $8. I have a cheat sheet right here because like you see here, it says 905, but I actually took a best offer of eight. Now, I picked this up at a recent consignment sale. I paid $5 for it, um, but when I, you know, I did Google Lens on it, it showed that there were some listed for about $20, so I just went ahead and went with it. And it sold again, probably within a week or two, for best offer of $20. It had this little um, heartbeat thing right here. Usually with my first picture, I always try to um, show that it does have the box that goes inside of it. This is a Fiesta Blue Rabbit plush from 1989 and it sold for best offer of $11. This. This. I have a feeling I'm going to have issues with this. I talked about this um, in one of my recent hauls. I found this poo outfit that goes to a Lauer water baby doll um these sell really well especially if you have the doll i didn't have the doll that went with it but there are eeyores and there's you know other disney characters that you can get these costumes you know for the water babies this one did have some issues i'll show it here at the top and the bottom the seams were coming loose it sold within a day or two of listing it. I took a best off, no, I sold it, yeah, best offer of $13.50. Shipped it the next day, and then the following day, I get a message that says, I didn't realize it need repaired. I'd like to cancel. Well, it's going to a freight forwarder in Oregon. So I, I was like, I'm sorry. You know, I have one day handling. It's already been shipped, um, and I haven't heard back from them. So I don't know how this is all going to play out. Maybe I'll never hear from them again. Maybe they'll get it repaired. Maybe it's going to get to the freight forwarder and it'll get returned. I'm not sure. But, you know, it's just one of those. I don't like the drama sometimes of this stuff. People just don't read. Look right here. Needs clean. The seams are loosening at the top and bottom. Let's see. What else did it say? At the top and bottom of closure area and back, see all picks. But at least it's a freight forwarder. You know, they aren't going to be able to probably do a return once they get it in their hands. I don't mind if they do a return when it gets to the freight forwarder, but we'll see. I'm sure it's there already. 
This is Spark Create Imagine, which is a Walmart brand. This was a 18 inch Panda from 2018 and it sold for $8.95. All right, so here's the next, the big sell for the week, weekend, this. I've had these over a year probably. These are vintage blow mold rabbits, Easter rabbits from 1995. The brand is Empire. If you see stuff that's Empire, that's usually a really good sign that it's um, vintage. But I paid, I want to say either $3 each or $5 each at a yard sale. And they sat over here because I kept thinking, I don't know how I'm going to pack them. I don't know how I'm going to pack them. I have up on the top shelf over here a complete nativity set with, you know, the wise men. No, Mary, Joseph, the angel. No, Mary, Joseph, Jesus, a lamb, and a cow, I think, set. I've had for a couple of years now that I've not listed because I haven't figured out how I was going to ship these. For some reason in my brain, I thought these were bigger. So I ended up finding a box that they actually laid in perfectly. I didn't have to cut it down other than to make it shorter. You know, so I did make sure these were all pre-packed. Robert fixed the box up for me. We wrapped them up, put in the proper weights and dimensions, and they sold very, very quickly for a best offer of $150. So I need to get to the nativity stuff. And I did go to U-Haul and right over here are some of the lamp boxes. So I'll see if I can find the time at some point soon to get them listed. I'm going to do, I think, each and sell them because like my cow has the ears or the horns that are often missing. So got to get her done. Next item is my one and only Mercari sale for last weekend. It's been very slow too, but, and I've already fallen off the wagon, sorry. I was going to try to make sure I cross list every single day to every one of my platforms, except Facebook. I'm mad at Facebook. I have 20, like 2,900 items there and I'm making zero sales, but I was going to focus on Posh, Mercari, and Etsy, and I've done Posh and Mercari every day and I forgot Etsy last night, but it's okay. I'm hoping if I'm active, like we talk about on eBay, try to list something every single day. Um, if I do it on these other platforms, maybe, maybe. All right, so this was my one sale on Mercari. It's a Betsy Johnson pink bear plush, one of the clip-ons that you can put like on the stroller. It sold for $12. And then Posh. I'm not gonna show you the clothes, Clothes are clothes. I did sell three pairs of jeans, a dress um, that was, I think, Athleta. Athleta was the brand. And a shirt, a men's shirt. And then I sold these two items. This was from the Finders Keepers lot that we did last year. The one and only time we actually found good stuff there, unfortunately. I need to go back. Maybe they've gotten better now that they're are out of their growing pains. But the few times we went back to Finders Keepers, it's like one of those bin places where I guess they probably buy pallets. And then, you know, one day the price is $6, the next day it's $5. And then when you get down to like Wednesday, it's $1. I did pick up a bunch of binders, a bunch of backpacks, a bunch of puzzles that first time. And this that I paid a dollar for, and this Jansport backpack sold for $13. But I think it was on offer, so it had reduced shipping. I don't understand that whole thing, but that's okay. I'm making sales, right? And this has been on eBay for since that, that haul. And then these Allegria, again, something that's been listed on eBay for a while. And I finally have been putting the shoes over onto Posh. And these Mary Janes sold for $32. So, yay. All right. I have got to get this video done. Then I need to get a haul video done today. So I have stuff, more stuff to work on tomorrow or for this week. Um, we, you know, I've got a ton of shipping to get done because Robert's not here on Monday mornings because he does, he teaches in our local co-op. Um, he's a science and history teacher there. 
So I'm going to have him try to help me get, because I think I'm over 40 so far for the weekend. And um, then I think there's something else I need to get done. But yeah, busy, busy, busy. My brain is like, whew, all the things I need to get done. All right. I hope you guys have excellent sales this weekend and you're motivated and ready to work next week. Get those listings done, right? Bye.